Step number one, and I'm, you know, I hope you notice that it's going to be right up here at the top left. What do you want? What do you have? And what's the connection? It's going to be there to remind you of what to do every single word problem. So number one, what do you want? What this means is, hey, what's the question asking you to find? There is no point in reading through the information if you don't know what you're leading up to. Information can be confusing if you don't know its purpose. So just start off with the question. The question right over here reads, let's go ahead and grab a highlighter here. If its base is nine inches long, that's not really what we want. It's this right here. How tall is it? That's what we want. How tall it is. Everybody, even if you're confused, even if you feel like this problem was easy, can we all agree that that's pretty clear? We're trying to find out how tall something is. Is that clear to you? Cool. Again, take everything slowly. Let the problem develop in front of your eyes. Don't try to force anything. Again, with more practice, you'll understand exactly what I mean when it comes to being patient with a problem. We want to know how tall this thing is. Okay. Let's just do a quick scan to see what they refer to as it. Now, what is it? Well, it says right over here, it says a triangular picture frame. Okay. How tall is it? It referring to the triangular picture frame. So everybody, is it safe to say that we're talking about a triangle and we want to know how tall it is? Is that fair to say? We're talking about a triangle and we're trying to find out how tall it is. So this is essentially it. This is what we're looking for. We want to know the height. That's all we want. That's what we want to find. Now, how we're going to get there, I don't know yet. All I do know is that we're talking about a triangle in some respect. We're just trying to find its height. Again, don't assume, don't get yourself confused or riled up or anxious. Just take it for what it is. And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. Now let's take a look at the information. Now that we know, now that we see that this is just a triangle and we want it tight, what information is given to us? Well, right over here it says that triangular picture frame covers 31 and a half or 31.5 square inches on its surface. My party people, Remember this, if this is the first time you're hearing this, please write this down. It is not about what the numbers are, it's about what they mean. So a lot of us are gonna be fixated on that 31.5 and we're gonna write that down, right? You know, naturally when it comes to a math word problem, we're gonna write the numbers down, that's fair. What isn't fair is thinking that that's the only thing you have to write down. Cause think about it, 31.5, what is that? The height, the base, perimeter, area, my wages, teddy bears. What is that? Like, what is that? So when you take a, you know, a closer look here, it says 31.5 square inches. Now, for those of you who've been to my classes before, especially those geometry ones, what do we mean? What do we know we're talking about anytime we see the phrase square units? What is it that we're always talking about? Bingo. Take a look at that chat box. Again, if you're here for the first time, this is the point that you can get to if you stick through the classes. We're here to help you succeed. And so you see right here, square inches, this refers to area. What the giveaway is, just to make sure I'm clear with you, is this, square. Regular units, that's just a distance. If you're saying inches or feet or miles by itself, yeah, you're just talking about the distance from here to there. If you say square inches, that's area. If you say cubic inches, that's volume. So that's a dead giveaway that you're talking about area. 
And so we can proceed to write this down right here. The area equals 31.5. Now, in this problem, remember, we're talking about a triangle, and we now have this triangle's area. What is the one F word that we want to think of immediately? It's not the one you think of when you're confused. It's the one you think of when you know there's something connecting some sort of geometric term. What F word should we be thinking of? That's right. Eureka, thank you. Formula. The formula. We're talking about a triangle and we have its area. We should be immediately ready to regurgitate or produce the formula for the area of a triangle. And so, just to help you out, that's going to be right over here. The area of a triangle is the base times height divided by 2. That's the formula for the area of a triangle. So, now that we have that, you know, you can say 1 half base times height. You can say base times height divided by 2. Either way, same deal. Same deal. This might be a little easier for some of us to digest. So, now that we're here, we keep going. Again, we're just trying to understand the pieces we have. Because as we continue, we see that it says, if its base is 9 inches long, the base being running from the left to the right side right over here, ooh, guess what? That's very, very, very convenient. Very convenient. Because if we come right over here, and we write the 9 inches, look at what we have. Let's just zoom in on the information that we have, everybody. Take a look. We have the base. We're looking for the height. And we have this formula over here for area that says the area is equal to the base times height divided by 2. We have the area, we have the base, we're looking for the height. Everyone, do we have everything we need to solve this? Do we have everything we need? And Eros, that's fine. You just pointed out your mistake. That's amazing, that's great, because now that we know the connection, boom, we can check our work. So here, we have everything we need, gang. We have everything we need. Again, let me just remind you here, we have area equals base times height divided by two. And as we replace the things that we have, we'll replace the area with what again, everybody help me out. What are we replacing the area with? What value are we replacing the area with? Janae, thank you, 31 and a half. 31.5 right there. And that's gonna equal our base times height, our base being 9. Our height is what we're looking for. And that's going to be divided by 2. So this whole problem comes down to this, comes down to solving this equation. Now, before I continue, let's just do a quick pulse check. Everybody, do we understand how we got to this point? Are you confident that you know how we got to this point? The two is part of the formula. So because we're dealing with the area of a triangle, we'll use the formula for a triangle, which is area equals base times height divided by two that you see right there. That's how I got there. Excellent. So now that we're here, gang, we're going to solve this equation. We know that we're trying to get the H by itself. To get it by itself, we see that we're multiplying by nine and dividing by two. So let's get rid of each one at a time if you'd like to. You can get rid of them both at the same time, but we'll go ahead and do one at a time. And look, I know how awesome it is to watch these videos, but how much better would it be to actually sit in a live Zoom class with me, being able to answer your questions and show you how to get things done back to back to back? I got your back. Go ahead and join our program trial. It's free for a full week. I am so confident that it'll help you raise your score that I'm not even requiring a credit card for you to sign up. All you have to do is confirm your email and phone number and you're good to go. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead, click the link in the description or text TRIAL to 833-321-0182 and I'll see you there, my ASVAB party people. Let's raise that score. Everyone, to do the opposite of dividing by two, what is that? What is the opposite of dividing by two? Delilah, you're quick. That is multiplying both sides by two. Thank you, Delilah. Appreciate you being on top of things. Hopefully you had a great weekend. 
the times two times two. Booyah right there. So that's gonna cancel out. And now we're gonna be left with on the right side, 9h. And then the left side will be two multiplied by 31 and a half. Everyone, two times 31 and a half is what? Cecil, great job. That will be 63, thank you there. Booyah. So we have 9h equals 63. And remember, all we're doing now is we're just solving an equation. So if anything like this gives you any sort of anxiety or any sort of you know, clamming feeling, well then you're gonna need to focus on the math basics because this is the last unit in there. But let's continue on here. The next step that we'll take, Delilah most certainly is not AI. The last step we'll take is to get rid of this nine right there. And we see that nine is being multiplied to H. To get rid of a multiplication of nine, We'll do the opposite of that on both sides. Remember, solving equations, we work backwards. So here, we'll divide both sides by nine. Boom, that's right over here. Let me go ahead and make this just a little smaller. And that's gonna cancel out. Right there, make that a little smaller. Booyah, cancels out right there, giving us H equals 63 divided by nine, which is seven. And there we have it. The last thing I want you to do is move on without taking advantage of all the help that you can get, including my free classes that are once a week. So before you go, go ahead and text this number right there. Go ahead and ask it, when's the next free class? My assistant is gonna text you back as soon as we can, and they'll let you know when the next free class is with the link, that way you can mark your calendar and ace the ASVAB next time we're around. I'll see you in there, my party people. Let's get to it.